Shout out to Lost in Translation podcast for this analogy today. He always say that women can't hold men accountable. This is why we not supposed to be on the pulpit. Now, it's not just him saying it. It says it in the word of God. But y'all don't like to read that part of the Bible. You say God is evolving. Okay. But God said his word will never change. Right. But y'all said he's evolving. Take heed to the message. Tim Ross came to social media and put together this whole sermon about how Jesus was the first stripper. Mm -hmm. How Jesus was the first stripper and how he was buck naked on the cross. You should have seen how the congregation was hooping and hollering and everything. I want to say, I want to say audience, but we're going to say congregation hooping and hollering. Okay. About the analogy, how he put the stripper pole and the cross together. I still don't know how you did it. And I understand that you said he stripped off his glory, but you lost me when you said he was buck naked. Why did we have to put that part in there? Okay. We all know what we were taught about how Jesus was led to the cross. Okay. We all know this, but why does it have to be dumbed down to he was buck naked on the cross? I know sometimes Yahweh look down on us and shake his head because the stuff we change and the words that we preach that we say is from the Bible. The congregation was hooping and hollering and screaming about what he said. And I'm going to share something with you. A lot of y'all know what he said was wrong. A lot of y'all did. But because he y'all pastor, y'all was excited. Mm-hmm. You were excited. Listen, I'm not throwing no shade. It's okay. I understand. I have done it too. But when you wake up from your slumber and you understand what the pastors are saying is wrong, you will start saying things. You will start speaking out. And people will say to you, oh, you a hypocrite. You're not a right. You're not, you're not a good Christian. How dare you say this about the pastor? They will say these things. You will even get people that will say, um, I don't know what kind of God you serve. Cause I get it all the time in the comment section, but truth is truth. How do you dumb down Jesus at the cross? How do you do that? How do you touch it with the stripper pole? I understand you trying to win souls. This is a beautiful thing. It's a blessing. But why are we sugarcoating and doing nonsense to the word of God? Why are we doing that? Just so we can get people to be um, blowing up the platform, you know, blowing up the platform, getting so excited, you getting so many views and followings. Listen, if they are meant to come to Yahweh, they going to come, baby. I don't care how much you do a show and dance. If they are meant to come to Yahweh, they going to come. You don't have to spice up the word. You don't have to sugar the word. You don't have to change the word just because you want people to start coming to the church. Because see, what's going to happen is you're going to mess around and find out. That's what's going to happen. You're going to mess around and find out. Sometimes I think we just sleep on God. We sleep on Yahweh like he ain't that. You know what I'm saying? We sleep on him. And I'm going to share something with y'all. You're going to be mad about this. But I think y'all want Jesus to be a thug. Yeah, I think y'all want him to be a thug. But I'm going to share something with you. Jesus is a no nonsense. He's no nonsense, but we play like he a thug. We play like he a thug, like he my brother. I'm rocking with him. Y'all do that nonsense and y'all gonna mess around and find out. Y'all always disrespect the name of Yahweh and y'all be thinking that that makes sense. How dare you come and justify the stripper pole with Jesus at the cross, calling him the first stripper. Now I can't, I can't hold you accountable. I can't, and I'm not trying to, but I want to make a comment about what you said. 
I want to know how you made that all together. I can understand you saying he stripped off his glory. When you, when you said that I was rocking with you until you said Jesus was buck naked at the cross. Why did that have to add in here? Why did that have to be added in here? And I know most of y'all pastors do this for likes and views. And I feel you because you want your congregation to grow just like any influencer. They want their platform to grow. But there's some things we should not make, you know, you trying to make it make sense. You trying to make it make sense. Some things we should not. Okay. We should not make something foolish make sense. How dare you make these two together, the stripper pole and the cross? When the stripper pole brings nothing but confusion, okay? And the cross brought nothing but life. Mm, mm. Let me say it one more time. The stripper pole brought nothing but confusion. Mm -hmm. And the cross brought nothing but life. I can't hold you accountable. I can't. But there's a lot of brothers in this space, sir, that will hold you accountable for what you said. The internet is undefeated, honey. Mm. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Mm. Take heed to the message, sir. Mm. I don't know how you put that together. The stripper pole and the cross. Mm. Got to be more careful.